All right, guys, today I have two pieces of advice for you uh, whenever you travel. So coupon books are quite awesome. You can get them in South Carolina pretty much everywhere. This is one coupon book. It's called Traveler of Charleston. You can get this pretty much anywhere during the summertime. And it's pretty awesome. Let me see if I can turn this around here. It's pretty awesome. It works pretty well. It has lots of cool coupons. Let's see if I can show you uh, sort of what it looks like on the inside. This is cool. It gives you um, the flowers of Charleston in bloom. Azaleas, wisteria, wisteria. Azalea is the pink. Wisteria is the purple. And then we've got this one here, which I can't read. I think it's jasmine. And then crepe myrtle. My favorite is the wisteria here, the purple one. Kind of looks like grapes, <laughs> but I think it's cool. I'm trying to find here. They have all kinds of ads that show you things that you can do, places to go, drinks with friends, things like that. This is one of my favorite things to do, which I have not done yet, but I just love anything like haunted or spooky. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is pretty cool stuff. Let me see. I'm trying to find, they have different sections that tell you different things to do whenever you're there. Uh, when they're open, sort of like uh, a calendar of events, which is also pretty cool. Charleston area events for when you're there. So I would say definitely pick this up. Um, maps, which is another thing I absolutely love. They have maps of the area. So you can sort of figure out, you know, where you're going. If you're sitting here, you can figure out which way you need to go. Put it into your GPS and boom, you're there. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Yes, my cat baby is joining us. She's over here. <laughs> and I know this one has coupons somewhere. But I can't find it. So anyways, they have all kinds of interesting ideas of what to do for your trip. So maybe you can... Baby's having a hard day. I don't know what's wrong, but she's she's fussy today. Okay, so this one is pretty cool as well. I picked this up, I believe, at a CVS. Yeah, it was at a CVS. But you can get these, and these definitely have coupons in them, so just let me find one really quickly. Yes, ma'am. See, she's real fussy. I don't know what's wrong. There's different sections, what to see and do, where to eat, stuff like that. I think she just wants attention, so that's why she's all over me <laughs> today. Poor little baby girl. It's okay, mama. <laughs> she doesn't like it when I don't give her attention. Let's see. Where to eat. I think I just found the section. Yes, where to eat. And this right here. Let me see here. Let me see here. Okay, well, I thought they had coupons in them. I was pretty sure they did. But if not, even if they don't, guys, again, these maps you can tear out. It's pretty cool. And they can take, excuse me, baby. <laughs> okay, so now now she's had her and she's knocked something over. And she'll probably lose a lot. So these maps you can tear out, and they will provide you with interesting things to go see. Of the two of them, I think I like this one the best just because it has maps, it has stuff marked on the map, and then if you get lost, you can give a local that map and then they can show you where to go. So definitely pick up these two things while you're traveling. I have found that CVS's um, Walgreens sometimes will have them. <laughs> Trying to get these in the shot here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Sometimes, uh, let's see, you can always find these at the visitor center. You can find these sometimes at supermarkets. Not Walmart, but places like Harris Teeter or Publix. Yeah, I don't know if, depending on whether or not you live in the southern area, those might be something you know. If not, those are the places you need to look for to find these. So pick one up whenever you travel here. It will definitely, definitely make your time here. It'll help you organize it better, basically. It'll help you see what there is to do, where it is, phone numbers, etc. like that. 
you do have to kind of look out for it. Sometimes they're not as updated as they should be. For example, this one has April to June written on it. Let's see right there. I don't know if you can see that. So you need to make sure you're picking up the right one on occasion. This one is for the year 2016, 2016 Official Visitor's Guide. So you need to be looking at that as well because sometimes older ones are laying around and you just have to make sure you pick up the right one. It doesn't mean older ones are bad, but these will be the most up-to-date ones. So just make sure to get those. So that's my travel tip for today, guys. As usual, I will see you next week and be sure to wander safe.